Welcome to Hooked for Life with Mary Beth Temple. I want to take a minute and go over my favorite dishcloth in my book, 25 Fun Dishcloths to Crochet, which you can get at your local craft chain store or online. And in this book is this little pink elephant. And I love the elephant, and I thought that I had written the directions very clearly, but a lot of people get confused when they come to row four. So in this video, I'm going to just go over row four of the pink elephant dishcloth from 25 Dishcloths to Crochet. Once again, I'm so sorry I can't just give you this pattern, but I can't because it's in a book and the book is still for sale. But you can certainly check the book out at a variety of outlets. Anyway, I've completed row three as directed. So I finished row three. The last thing it says in row three is end off. Now for row four, it says turn work. Boom. Then it says chain six. So I'm chaining six with a new piece of yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be one of the elephant's legs. Now the next thing it says double crochet in top of last double crochet in, made in row three, which is this guy. And in each of next six double crochet. So one, two, three, four. five, six. And I'm going to keep following the directions. I'm going to work the stitches as written around the top all the way to the other end and then I will join you back here so you can see the next step. So I'm coming up on the end of row four. I have uh, double crocheted in each double crochet to the end of the row and then it says chain eight turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what I have now is a piece, ignore that, that's the end that I'm gonna weave in later. So that's my six chain at the beginning of the row, and that's my eight chain at the end of the row. And the reason there's eight here and only six there is because this is a turning chain, and I don't have any turning going on over here. So I've gotten to the end of row four, I've chained eight and turned, and now at the beginning row five, it says double crochet and fourth chain from hook. So one, two, three, four. I'm trying to see if I can uh, count and make video at the same time here. One, two, three, four. Uh, now, in all of my crochet projects, I like to work in the back or the bump of the chain because I think it makes a neater edge. You, of course, can put your stitches wherever you want. So I double crocheted in fourth chain from hook, and then it says, and in each of next four chain. Oops. My cotton's a little bit splitty, but I like to make my dishcloths out of cotton. You don't have to use cotton. A lot of people like acrylic because they think they last longer, but I always like the look of cotton for dishcloths. Two. There's my bump. There it is. Three. Four. And then it says double crochet in next eight double crochet. So now there's the beginning of my little elephant leg. Now I'm working on the double crochets I already made. So double crochet in each of the next eight. One, two, etc. So I'm going to complete this row the way it's written. I'm going to work all the way around to the other side and then when I get to the end of row five, 
it says double crochet in each of last six chains. So there's six chains hanging out, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to end the row with a double crochet in each chain. At that point, I have one little leg over here. I've worked all the way around and I have the other little leg over there and then I'm just going to go ahead and finish the elephant body as written including in putting in its little skinny tail. So that is how rows four and five work on the elephant dishcloth from 25 fun dish cross to bleh, can't talk from 25 fun dishcloths to crochet. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Please consider subscribing to the channel. There's all kinds of new videos coming. Be well. Bye.